I don't like comics because they're so busy. Comic books are just for kids. I don't even know who comics are made for. Who are comics made for? Everybody? It's like asking who is music made for? I can't remember who it was, but somebody described com comics as a, a medium. It's not a genre. Comics aren't just superheroes and wish fulfillment stories or adventure stories. There's detective crime comics, there's funny comics, there's real life comics, there's romance comics. Just, it's like saying, you know, what kind of music do you like? They don't make music for a particular type of person. They might make a certain kind of music. Like, you're gonna make heavy metal music for heavy metal fans, right? You're gonna make pop music for pop music fans. You're gonna make hip hop for hip hop fans. It's, it's so broad and it's so sweeping as far as the types of stories that it tells. Yeah, there's, there's no specific person. They, they, they literally are made for everybody. You know, every time somebody comes in here and says, you know, they saw the movies or their friends like comics or they really like cosplay or whatever it is that brings them in the store. Uh, generally, I start by saying, well, have you read anything before? You know, what, what did you like and what didn't you like? If they haven't, it's a little tougher. Well, what other, what kind of movies do you like? Do you like romance movies? Do you like adventure movies? Do you, are you into the superhero thing? If it's superheroes, there's like about a dozen, there's more, but let's just say I keep in my head and in stock here, about a dozen of those books that I'm gonna say like, after a little bit of finding out what they're into, Civil, Marvel Civil War. Mm -hmm. Right, um, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Maybe Watchmen, you know, maybe if, if they're a little more esoteric and like a little more of those things. But there are always a handful of books that you can start them with. And then they'll get excited and then they'll want to find more and read more and investigate more. And then it becomes their journey. Most people that follow comic books on any kind of regular basis, we have a very personal story about why we follow certain characters. Mm -hmm. Because we discovered them on our own. Like either a friend or somebody like gave you a comic and you went, ooh, and like, let's say it was an Avengers book and you were like, wow, this is really great, but I happen to like this one character more than the other. So then you're gonna go find other books and follow that character and it becomes your journey. It becomes very personal. Like the specificity that you use to follow a comic book character or team or artist or whatever it is, is very specific to you. The great thing about a comic is that you can go anywhere and make your own comics. Comics have one of the most personal expressions as far as a story you want to tell or art that you want to perpetrate or an idea. You can literally just draw it and put it together and have it finished the next day and sell it. Stand on the corner and sell it. Bring it to me. I'll buy it from you and sell it in here. There's definitely like the, the DIY thing about comic books and then there's also the idea of that hey I actually want to go and be able to work in an, in an industry where there where I can I can write or draw or do whatever uh, for characters that I grew up with we have canonized these characters you know if sales go down well that writer gets fired or that artist gets fired and they bring in somebody else but if they get the character right and they're telling their own story and they're still being true to the character well then sales go up because we all know this is yes I say all the time like you know, I could walk over to the Catholic Church and say, oh, we're going to make a movie about Jesus Christ. We're going to do all this great stuff, um, and it's going to be the most accurate depiction of the life of Jesus. And they're going to go, yay! And then I say, okay, but we're not going to do the virgin birth, though. We're not going to do that. And then they go, okay. But everything else is going to be exact. The clothing, everything. Oh, oh, and we're also not going to do the resurrection. He's, you know, no, we're not going to do that. And then they're going to go, well, that's not the Jesus that we... To. That's not correct. So it's the same way. You can get these characters wrong, as evidenced by certain movies that have come out. <laughs> when someone comes in here and says, I want to get into comic books, it's going to take a little while to get that out of them. Because you don't want to sell them the wrong book or hip them to the wrong book that they're going to hate and then for the rest of their lives say, I don't like comics because somebody gave them something that wasn't right for them. I don't think anybody that's alive today started reading comics in 1938. Nope. And Stan Lee said that, that his dictum at Marvel Comics was just imagine that every comic that you put out is going to be somebody's first comic. There's no single comic out there that you could like just say everybody should like this or you don't like comics. People do try to say that but they're wrong. 